Next week, the Social Security Administration SSA will announce the 2025 Cost of Living Adjustment COLA that will be applied to benefits starting in January. Though prices have continued to increase since the 2024 COLA was announced, the increase for next year is slightly smaller. The announcement will be made on Thursday, October 10th. How is the COLA calculated? The SSA calculates the COLA by comparing price changes as measured by the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers CPIW, average prices from the third quarter of the year July, August, and September from the current year are compared to the three-month average captured the year before. So far, we only have data from July and August, which comes out to an average of 308.570 compared to 300.725 for the same calculation for those two months in 2023. If COLA calculations were based on this data, recipients of all SSA programs would see their benefits rise by 2.6% in January. How will this year's increase compare to 2023 and 2024? Last year, the COLA was 3.2%, following a staggering 8.7% increase tacked onto benefits in 2023. The current data indicates that the 2025 COLA will come in around 2.5%, and projections from the Senior Citizens League SCL mirror that. So far this year, the CPIW has only tracked an average drop in prices from May to June, meaning that for many households, higher prices continue to be a major obstacle. For seniors, many of whom live on a fixed income, periods of high and even moderate inflation have a serious impact on their purchasing power. Over the last two decades, those over 65 have started to make up a greater share of the national labor force as retirement moves further out of reach. The COLA is the only protection offered to protect the purchasing power of benefits, and the SCL has noted that it is ineffective in doing so. In a recent study published by the organization, researchers found that since 2010, the buying power of benefits has fallen 20%. The report highlights how the CPIW does not adequately consider the particular shopping preferences of seniors, like housing. The Bureau of Labor Statistics, which calculates the CPI, also publishes the CPI, also publishes the CPI for the elderly CPIE, which better accounts for the consumer preferences of seniors. If we were to complete the same calculation above using the CPIE data, we could get an annual increase of 3.1% more than half a percent higher than the current COLA forecasts efforts to use to the CPIE. A few members of Congress, including Senator Bob Casey DPA and Congressman Ruben Gallego de Arizona, have introduced legislation that would allow the SSA to use the CPIE 